What's up guys? All right, we're back in the kitchen and today we're gonna make a little dish that everybody loves, I think, and it involves rice, which we already cooked and that's looking good. And the other thing it involves is a wok. So what do you think we're making? Fried rice, that's right. And uh, it's also, you know, the Korean style is called bokumbap. So it's just basically Korean fried rice. So, uh, I mean, you could add lots of things like kimchi and other stuff, but today we're gonna keep it simple. I got the water boiling already because we're gonna use potatoes. So I'm gonna boil those up. And I got an onion, I got a zucchini, and I got some carrots. And obviously the rice. And then, you know, I use a variety of spices. I use a little butter. I have adobo. <laughs> Not Korean, but it has garlic powder and onion powder and good flavors in there, so. Salt, pepper, sesame seeds, that's a must. I got some rice wine vinegar, and I got tamari. Uh, you could use soy sauce, it's just like soy sauce, but uh, it has no gluten, I believe, no wheat. So, it's just what I have. So, all right, let's get started. We're gonna get, we're gonna uh, start cutting those t potatoes and get them in the pot, get them boiled and soft. And then uh, we'll cut the rest of the veggies and, and start cooking. All right, stay tuned. All right, let's peel our potatoes. And I guess we could uh, wash them. Some people recommend washing your food before you eat it, because, are you kidding? <laughs> All right, let's peel our potatoes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, uh, can't say that's ever happened to me before. That, that's a first. <laughs> so, I mean, I love potatoes. I love carrots too. I mean, I love all vegetables, except mushrooms. Don't ever put a mushroom near me. Anybody else out there hate mushrooms? Or, I know a lot of people love them. What what vegetable do you guys absolutely hate? Like you cannot eat. For me, is mushrooms. It used to be eggplant too, but when I went uh, vegetarian or initially and then vegan, I started eating eggplant and like eventually I started liking it. I tried with mushrooms, and occasionally I could palate them, like if they're in a soup, like a pho or something, but. Usually no. Oh, they're gross. All right, but here's something delicious. And I, I usually just wash these. I don't even, uh, I don't even, I don't even uh, peel these. Cause why? Why bother? So I'm gonna wash these, and I'm gonna cut this, and gonna put that in the pot, and then uh, I'll see you in a minute. Give them a good rinse. You guys cut your potatoes. I don't really have a specific way. But. Whatever works, right? I know I'm gonna get yelled at.
Take the ends off. All right. How are we going to cut these carrots? Alright, carrots are good to go. And push those over to the side. Zucchini is one of my all-time favorite vegetables, by the way. Carrots, too. But mushrooms, ugh. So I'm cutting these zucchini on the bias. I don't know why. I think I just saw that in a cooking show once. <laughs> but they look good to me. Uh, we got a heat going on the on the wok. I wish I had more room on this stove. Uh, they say you're not supposed to use high heat with olive oil, but I live recklessly. All right, and extra virgin olive oil, I should say. All right, so we're gonna let our olive oil heat up. This is warm, as you can hear. So. Let's get our vegetables in there. Just gonna let that zucchini and that carrot cook up. All right. Sizzle. I love that sound. All right, let's season a little. I got a little salt. A little pepper. And here's our adobo. Good. All right, so we'll let the onions get a little translucent and we'll get a nice brown on those zucchini. Damn, those look good, man. Can you smell it? Because it smells great. Looking good so far, guys. I can tell you it smells great. Let me try this carrot. Oh, the flavor's there. They're still a little, a little, little raw. I'm gonna add my potatoes, I just drained those. All right. Do you think I have enough potatoes? All right guys, we're gonna add the rice now. Our vegetables look great, smell great, and they taste great. Now all we need is the rice. All right. Ah, there we go. Yum. Perfectly cooked, cooked rice.
All right. Now we're gonna add a little rice vinegar. And I'm gonna add my tamari or soy sauce. You get that good, uh, you get a little saltiness, a little of that umami flavor. And uh, it has that nice color that we're all used to with brown, well, I mean with uh, fried rice. So I'm not gonna do too much. Just enough to get that nice, uh, nice color. And then my secret ingredient. I'm gonna add some butter. Vegan butter, don't get you. Don't get it crazy over there. Do a couple of a couple of tablespoons. Okay, that might be a little more than a tablespoon. Whatever. Alright, let's see how it looks. Yeah, we're getting a little color. Last but not least, sesame seeds. Oh my, I used the wrong end, oops. <laughs> oh, that's okay, that's fine. All right, here's the true taste test. And uh, let's see. Got some veggies on here. Got some rice. Got the potatoes. All right, let's try it. You can see it's steaming hot. Korean people love their food steaming hot. Me, not so much, because I eat fast and I burn myself. Oh, man. Yo, that is good. Mmm. All right. So that's how I make bokum bop, uh, or fried rice. So uh, let me know in the comments how you do it, what I did wrong, and I'm going to leave and finish this now. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys.